Okay, this is a video of only the arteries. There will be another video of the veins later. Okay, so starting here, number five is the aorta. You can see these are the blue numbers only. So this is the aorta. Then we're going to have the brachiocephalic in number 10. Okay, so back here in number 10, right there is a brachiocephalic artery. Okay, and then we're going to go to the common carotid, which is number 11. Right here, that's your common carotid. Zoom out and show you. Okay. Next, your internal carotid is 26, um, and that is, oh, okay, so here's your common carotid. It breaks off here into your internal carotid, goes all the way up, and your external carotid, whoops, is on this side. Okay, so if you can see this, your external carotid, your internal carotid, this red thing, and that again was your common carotid number 11. Okay, next we're going to go to your vertebral is number 30. You can see 30 back there. Your vertebral are these two. So one here and one back there. So let's see. There you go. Number 30. So these are your vertebral. Basilar, you have number 32. This is a bug looking thing. So there's your base layer. Your circle, whoops, your circle of Willis, which is also called your um, cerebral arterial circle, it's this up here. Um, but it's where this, your circle of Willis and your base layer meet. Okay, now we're going to go to your, the uh, clavicle and um, arm and forearm arteries. So subclavian is number 37. So we're going to identify that. It's actually, um, let me come from a different angle. There's your subclavian right here, number 37. Okay, so zoom out. So subclavian, think clavicle. It's this red one back here. Okay, and then we have axillary, and your axillary is number 45. So as you can see here, there's number 45. So it'll go subclavian, axillary right here, your armpit, axillary, and then your brachial is number 54. So let's follow this down. So here's your axillary. Here is number 54. Okay, so this starts your brachial. And then from there we go to your radial. So we're gonna come down your brachial and then it's gonna branch off. Here's number 60, okay, because there's your hand. So number 60 here is your radial. Number 67 on this side is your ulna, okay, it's on the side of your ulna. Your radial's on the side of your radius. And then we're gonna have your palmar arches. That's gonna be down here, like where number 73 is. It's these two little, these little loops. And then your digitalis is number 64, which I, which is right down here. So think of your digits. So your digitalis artery is here. And then we're going to do your thoracic one. So we're going to start off with 77. That is your intercostals. Intercostal means ribs, so think ribs. So there's 77, as you can see. Okay, so your intercostals are all these. Okay, and then we're going to do your celiac trunk. This is really hard to see. Okay, um, I don't even know if I can point up here. It's um, 83. Yeah, we can't even, I can't even see it now. But it's going to be um, up in here. So somewhere up in there, hidden. Because that's where your splenic and your gastric and your um, hepatic nerve all meet, or your artery all meet. So now let's just do the splenic nerve. Here's your spleen. So your, or I'm sorry, your splenic artery. I keep wanting to say nerve. So here's your spleen, the purple one. 
the splenic artery is back there, number 90. So you can see the splenic artery coming off the spleen. And then we have the renal. Renal means kidney. So let's zoom in back here. You can see number 98. There's your renal artery. Okay. You can see number 98. And then we have your gastric. Think stomach. So number 86 is gastric. Okay. So there's your gastric artery. Zoom back out. So it's this loop. Then we have your hepatic. Hepatic means liver. Your hepatic vein is number 87. So we'll zoom in here to number uh, 87 if we can see that. Where is it? There it is. He's back there. So there's 87. There's your hepatic artery going off into your liver. Okay. So it's, it's right. It's right back there. Okay. Then we have your superior mesenteric, okay, and that is number 93. So here you can see number 93. So this is your superior mesenteric, okay, so these things coming off. There's your superior mesenteric artery. And then your inferior mesenteric artery is number 94. And that's going to be right here. There you go, number 94. So superior here because you can see it innervates uh, superiorly and lower than that inferiorly is your inferior mesenteric artery because of its innervation. Next we have gonadal. Gonadal is number 100 as you can see back there. Okay so your gonadals um, there are these little wiry structures coming off here. Okay, in between your mesenteric, because there were your mesenteric, your superior, inferior. So your gonadal is number 100 here. I'll zoom back in. Okay, so it's just these little bitty wires coming off. Okay, and then we're going to go down to the legs. Okay, so we did the head, we've done the arms, the thoracic, and now we're going to come down here, and we're going to go with the common iliac, which is number 101. So, let's just show you, there are its feet, okay? So, we're right here, underneath the gonadal. So, here is number 100, or I'm sorry, 101, and this is your common iliac, okay? It's going to branch off, your common iliac is going to branch off into this one where the exposed wire is. This is your internal iliac artery. And over here, your external iliac artery is number 113. There really isn't a 113, but it would be this. Okay, so external iliac, interior, or internal iliac, and then common iliac. Okay, next we're going to go to your femoral. Your femoral artery is 115. Remember, think your thigh for your femoral. This is zooming in oddly. There we go. Um, your femoral is right here. Okay, so you had your common iliac, internal iliac, external iliac. Here is your femoral. Now we're going to follow down. The popliteal actually does not, because this is still your femoral going down. Your popliteal doesn't exactly have a number, but it's going to be this pinch right here, or right before the pinch. So that's going to be, this part of it's going to be your femoral, or your popliteal, sorry. Your popliteal. Okay, and then we have to identify the anterior tibial is number 127. So when we're looking at this, okay, you can see that there's basically three of these, right? We're in the anterior view. This one, the one that sticks out, that isn't really connected to the other two, that because there's two here, and then there's one sticking out, this is going to be your anterior tibial. And then number 136, okay, because that was 127. See the number? Number 136 and 137. These are going to be your, um, your well, 136 is going to be your posterior tibial. So here's your anterior tibial, what my thumb is running, running up and down. And then your posterior tibial is right here, number 136. Okay. 
And then number 137 on this side, think your lateral side, is going to be your fibular or your peroneal. And then we have 132. Let's zoom in here. Um, right here. This is going to be this is going to be your dorsalis pedis. And then over here on 147, these little things are all your dig digitalis.